hot smoking sassafras. It's time for another episode of Trippy Food. We're going to do something today that's a little bit unusual, a little bit on the uh, different side. So this was a suggestion from one of our subscribers, Tourniquet Jaw, who suggested salted duck egg yolks grated over pasta. Now, it's very similar to what is happening in some places in Asia because they've been eating kind of uh, a pasta like this uh, for a while. But it also has a nod to pasta carbonara, which is basically a pasta that uh, you put some olive oil on that and then you mix in uh, egg i think it's egg yolk but maybe a whole egg and you just kind of turn that and the heat of the pasta turns the egg kind of creamy so it doesn't fully cook it so we decided we'll, we'll do something similar to that and i got these salted egg yolks from our asian market now what it says on it is uh, for baking purposes only. So my guess is, and um, by the way, this is a salted duck yolk, not a salt, salted chicken yolk. So my guess is that these salted duck yolks are used for making mooncakes. They go in the mooncakes. So I'm a, I'm a little bit hesitant to use them as is because they're made in China and they tell you it's specifically for baking. So I think that these should probably be heated up. Uh, I could take a chance and just use them as is, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous about that. And so what I'll probably do is I'll probably uh, maybe put it in some foil, put it in the oven for a little bit, you know, bake them, bake the yolks, and um, and then and then use them and grate them up with the pasta. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll see if we can't come up with a decent pasta dish featuring salt and egg yolk. Now I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work, but anyways, I made my pasta. I put some olive oil on it, uh, some grated Parmesan cheese, some black pepper, and some crushed red pepper. And I kind of mixed that up a little bit, although it's solidifying a little bit, so that ought to be fun. And here are my egg yolks. Some, some kind of liquid was coming out of that, I think. So I don't know if these melted in the oven when I was baking them or not, but we'll see, anyways. I don't know what to expect here. So if they are melted, I'll just pour them on the spaghetti. I'll just mix them up with the spaghetti, but we'll see. And by the way, I'm, ooh, that is weird. So they, they turn from an orange color to a brown color, and then there's this liquid. All right, well, that's fine. You know what? We'll just, we'll do with what we have. It's probably not the ideal, ideal way to do this. Like, if I was going to make my own salted yolks, basically you separate the yolk from the white of the egg and then you put it in a mound of salt and you leave it there for, I'm not exactly sure for how, how long and the salt actually cures the egg, but you kind of know where that's been. These kind of warned you not to not to use them for, uh, for anything but baking and so that's what, we're, that's what we, we baked them to at least make sure that they were gonna be somewhat edible. So hopefully we've gotten hot enough and anything that was bad on them is not there anymore. But let's go ahead and we'll, let's grate some of this on uh, spaghetti. Then we've got little testicles. All right, we'll just do this. Oh, okay, it's still orange on the inside. It just falls apart. I don't even know if you have to grate it. Just falls apart in here. It's a little powdery on the inside. So typically, again, you're going to use regular egg yolks for this, and um, that would cream up a little bit in there. But, but we're not really getting a cream in this here. I'm going to make sure the pasta is still hot. Let's see. Let's mix that up a little bit. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's see what happens. I feel safe eating these eggs now. Mm. 
it does add a nice flavor to it. And remember, these are salted duck eggs. Typically, you, you would use salted chicken eggs or chicken egg yolks. But there's still nice flavor in there. Again, because I bake these, I think that's probably why they're still a little powdery and they don't melt as much. But it makes a really nice topping, especially with the red pepper and the uh, black pepper. Yeah, that's really good. So again, this was a suggestion from Tourniquet Job that one of our subscribers, and it turned out to be pretty good. So I'm gonna give that a thumbs up, really nice. Give this a shot if you get a chance, try that. Really nice, very nice. I got these salted duck yolks at Hawaii Supermarket, which is a big Asian market. I'm sure if you have an Asian market, you can find these. Or, you know, if you're really adventurous and you really wanna make them yourself, I would, I would say go ahead and do that. Make sure you follow the proper instructions for making salted yolks. But, um, but yeah, this is a very nice dish. So big thumbs up on this one. Just remember that it's crazy out there. So take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.